Almost one year after the passing of Minnesota music icon Prince, we have new information in the events surrounding his death. Today, authorities in Carver County released search warrants related to the case, shedding new insight into the days before and after his death at Paisley Park. Those documents include a list of the medications found at Paisley Park, including numerous opioids. They also reveal detectives found a sizable amount of narcotics at Paisley Park and that Prince was not prescribed any of the substances found there. Mary McGuire has been combing through the new information and joins us now live outside First Avenue. And Mary, do these documents have any information about where Prince got the fentanyl that killed him? Well, that information remains a missing piece of this puzzle, but investigators in Carver County believe that Prince's laptop and his email accounts may contain that information. Now, in their search of Paisley Park in the days following Prince's death, detectives found narcotics in various places around the estate, some of which were in a suitcase labeled Peter Brave Strong. That is believed to be an alias Prince used while he tra was traveling. Some of those narcotic medications were found inside over-the-counter medicine bottles like Aleve and Bayer. Additional prescriptions were made out to Kirk Johnson, Prince's longtime bodyguard by Michael Schulenberg, who prescribed him oxycodone before the superstar died. Those documents also state that prescription was meant for Prince, but was made out to Kirk Johnson to protect the singer's privacy. Prince did not use a cell phone after it was hacked and mainly communicated over email on a silver Mac laptop, even using a secret email account set up by a former manager. In those documents, investigators claim Google Gmail accounts from Prince's laptop computer will hold valuable evidence into who Prince was communicating with and may reveal how he got that deadly dose of fentanyl. Now, CBS News did reach out to Kirk Johnson to ask him about the investigation. Hear what he had to say. People have so many questions about Prince's last days, and you know. Kirk has a vault right here. It's never going to be unlocked. Is that because Prince was so private? You don't want. I, res I respect him and you know what his privacy was. Is there anything that you wish you had done personally to stop his drug use? <laughs> oh my goodness. Next. You don't feel like people enabled him. Next. Opioid addiction is such a big topic Next. of conversation. Now, these search warrants also reveal that Prince had a history of withdrawal symptoms due to prescription medication abuse. They also found a pamphlet about a recovery program in the Purple Rain Room at uh, Paisley Park. Mary, this week marks the one year anniversary of Prince's death. What events are planned here in Minneapolis to remember his life and his work? Well, there will be a couple dance parties here at First Avenue and also some events happening at Paisley Park. You'll also notice that a variety of landmarks here in the city of Minneapolis will turn purple to honor his legacy here. Mary, thank you.